What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today you see the Mustang is up in the air yet again. I swear to God this thing is on jack stands more than I drive it. But today we are giving it an oil change and we're doing a little something different here. So stay tuned. Let's go. Alright guys, like I said, welcome back. This week we're doing the oil change on the EcoBoost and as you saw, we got the oil filter, we got the oil, uh, but there's a little something that we did a little different here. Um, I got a, uh, an oil filter, this is the model number, in case anybody is curious. Um, but this is actually the oil filter from what I understand uh, on the previous gen V6s, the Cyclone engine. We just open this up now. Yeah, let's let's take a look. All right, so that's gonna be the record for the quickest unboxing of a uh, Ford Motorcraft oil filter, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what it looks like. It looks very similar. It's just a little bit taller than <laughs> a little bit taller than the uh, stock one that comes on the car. But the cool part about this is that this will increase your oil capacity in the car to an even six quarts. So that means, got my bubbly here because I need a little caffeine. That means that I can put all of this in and all of this in and not have to like use 5.8 quarts or whatever it was last time. So that's pretty cool. I can fit all six, six quarts as it's moving all around, I can fit all six quarts in the, the EcoBoost with this filter. So pretty cool. But that being said, I think let's just jump right into it. Let's do it. All right, so our first step here is to drain the blood from the animal. The Mustang being the animal. So it's a uh, 15 millimeter socket down below to drain the oil on the EcoBoost. So we got that ready and uh, I got my pan under there already as well. So I'm gonna start the process, guys. Also up top on the engine, we have to loosen the fill plug here. Just like that. I'm probably just gonna set this maybe right up over here. There we go. And then we're gonna pull the dipstick up too, just to relieve any sort of pressure up on top here uh, when we're draining it should just allow for easier drainage. So that's good. I almost forgot my gloves. Can't have that. As I slice through all the latex gloves. <laughs> That'd be stupid. Are you ready? I am. <laughs> okay, so 15 millimeter bolt right up here. There it is, 15 mil. Then we're just gonna start loosening that guy up, so. All right. Make sure to get your trusty bucket here. You don't want this going all over your garage. <laughs> Unless you do and you're weird like that, I don't know. See if I can catch it. Yes, just, <laughs> just caught it. All right, we're gonna let that drain and uh, go back up to the top. All right, now we just gotta put the drain plug back in now that it's kind of done draining here. And then we move on to <laughs> my most hated part here is the, not hated, I don't hate doing this, but the messiest part usually, which is that oil filter, so. I guess. Then we're retightening that plug. Some people replace these. I usually will replace them every couple oil changes. So this one is still looking pretty good. So I'm gonna use this one again. I'm just gonna tighten it up. All 
Oh my god. <laughs> the bolt just snapped off. Did you see that? Was I recording? I don't even know if I was recording right now. I just said the bolt looked like it was in good shape. I'm gonna use it again. And it snapped off inside the oil pan, dude. Oh my God. Whew. Man, these <laughs> jobs never go easy, man. Okay. Okay. Let's recess. All right, it looks like there's a little bit of a lip on the piece that's still in there of the bolt. So I'm gonna try it and pray to God with this that I can just kind of turn it out. Oh God. Now, now I gotta get another bolt too, but I'm going ahead of myself. Let me get this thing out of here. Check that out. Snapped right off. And that's crazy because when I was tightening it, I was I was feeling that it, it felt like still loops, you know? So I was kind of like, well, that's weird. So I don't know, let me see. It looks like it's still loose. Oh, oh shit. Okay, cool. Oh, thank God. Okay, I think, unless there's more. Okay, it's turning. Let me get this out of here. Oh, guys, we got it out. We got it out. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that. Now, maybe this is because I was using a half inch ratchet to take it out, which I normally use a 3 8 drive. Um, but when I was tightening it, I just didn't feel like it was like, it got kind of tight, but it wasn't very secure. So I was like, hmm, let me, let me try a little bit more. And that, that was the time, a little bit more. Not good. So there's the other half. Thank God this came out all in, you know, like one piece here. Let me show you. Just shear it off right there. So I guess we're gonna be calling Megan because she's out and about grocery shopping or something. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to get another plug. Let's see if she'll answer. All right, let's give her a call. Let's see if she's there. Always saving me. Well, hello there. <laughs> hey, um, so I was doing this oil change and, and it can never really be that easy and uh, snap the drain plug, so. <laughs> I guess. I know, you left like 10 minutes ago. All right. I need to come to your rescue and get a nice seat. <laughs> I mean, if you can, that would be fantastic. Yeah. All right. Megan's on the way with another drain plug. So we can, uh, I guess, just get started on removing that filter as well. So I have a little filter removal tool. I'm gonna get that one out and then we'll compare the size of the new one versus the one that's in there. All right, guys, we got the filter out and now to compare this one to the new one. All right, so this is the FL910S. I'm not gonna turn this one upside down because that would be a rookie mistake. Uh, but this is the one that was in the car and this is what I replaced, uh, you know, last time I did an oil change on the EcoBoost. And so here you can see the, uh, the one I'm replacing it with this time, which is, again, the FL400-S. Now you can see that this one is just a little bit taller, so you're gonna get a little bit more um, oil capacity out of here. There's a little bit more filter media in this one, um, but as far as the circumference goes, they are exactly the same. Not saying like that this is not a perfectly sufficient option, but, oh, Megan's pulling in. Let's see if, but this one might be better. Megan is here again with our parts. Oh, you got it again. Thank you, hopefully. I mean, it looks like a drain plug, so it's good, thank you. <laughs> I think this will work. I'm not sure exactly. It looks, it looks right, so. I asked the guy, I was like, hey, here's this picture. Can you find it? And Can you find it? And he did, hey, well, if, uh, if it doesn't work, then it's that guy's fault, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the project. All right, folks, well, New drain plug, it looks like it'll work. The head on it's 13 mil instead of 15, but I guess, whatever. So, let's see if it goes in. 
And I'm using a 3 8 drive this time, not a half inch. It's to learn from my mistakes. Let's see. Hopefully it threads in, otherwise that guy at the auto parts store is going to... Oh, actually, though. Oh, actually, oh, okay. Woohoo! It goes in. It goes in like it should. It's like it was made for it. All right, I'm just going to give it a little bit. There we go. That felt way better, guys. It felt way better. Let me use this crappy old wickety... Riggedy, riggedy, son! Thing. Beautiful. It's in. All right, let's go put this thing in. Now, why don't we just make the rest of the video a bit more cinematic? Yeah, let's do that. Like that, everything is done. Guys, we are back. Took the full six quarts of oil, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna monitor that a little bit just because, you know, it's a new setup and whatever, but I uh, took all six quarts of oil and it's right up to the fill line, so I'm feeling pretty confident about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Everything's buttoned up behind me and uh, I didn't snap another drain plug, so that's good. <laughs> But uh, if you guys enjoy the video, please hit subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you guys currently use this filter setup or if you uh, are running the stock setup, I'm curious how many other uh, EcoBoost owners out there are running this setup right now. So with all that being said, thanks again, guys. I hope you have a great day and we will catch you in the next upload. Bye.